today marks the end of a cooperative effort between the University of Michigan and the NCAA. We have taken this investigation very seriously from day one. I'm very proud of how our staff has handled this situation every step of the way. We have cooperated fully with the NCAA staff and we have acknowledged the violations. The University of Michigan is very proud of its athletic and academic excellence, as well as its athletics compliance record. This case may not be as sensational as other major infractions cases, but to the University of Michigan, it could not be more serious. We offer no excuses for the violations. They should not have occurred, and we have implemented measures to help ensure that they do not happen again. We are satisfied with the sanctions handed down by the NCAA and believe the penalties are appropriate for the violations. We are focused on the future and our continued commitment to integrity and excellence. We all know and we recognize we made mistakes. They were made at various levels in the department and throughout the athletic department organization. We are certainly guilty of failure to monitor but we felt it was strong. Uh, it was important for us to take a strong position on that particular allegation. We did, and we're pleased with the outcome. In summing things up, I'd like to say that I'm really proud of our institution and our department for the way we've conducted ourselves throughout this very unfortunate process. We had full cooperation from our players, our coaches, and our staff. You have to remember that many of the interviews and much of the activity that was associated with this investigation happened during a playing season. We literally had players that were being taken off the practice field to be interviewed. This was a very aggressive and full investigation that was conducted by the NCAA. And from all the reports I've received, our players, our student athletes, our coaches, and our staff were fully cooperative and handled themselves with great class. I'm also proud of the fact that we were totally transparent in the way that we've handled this from the moment that we received the notice on, of allegations to where we stand today. We've made ourselves available, we've made the information available, and we've been as open and as honest as we can in terms of our view on this whole matter. I do not believe we can find that we have engaged in any excuse making. We have not been whiny, we have not pointed fingers at anyone, and we have not tried to rationalize what has happened. We've admitted to our mistakes, we've corrected them, and we're moving forward. I really want to thank everyone associated with this process, and there are many, for the cooperation and spirit of teamwork that took place to get us to where we are today and get this matter behind us. Uh, certainly, I'm glad this process has come to a close. Uh, I'm pleased our own assessment is in sync with the NCA, both related to me and to the university as a whole. I believe I've always maintained an open relationship with our compliance staff and our athletic administrators and every level of my coaching career and will continue to do so. Uh, we've worked hard to make sure that internal breakdowns will not happen again. I am focused on the Illinois game, as you can imagine, and to help Michigan football have a successful season. Thank you. you know, the, the, the biggest relief, as I mentioned, is that the process is over and there's a lot of hard work put in, and not only by us. And, and our staff and our, and our university, but also the NCAA staff. I mean, they worked hard as well, and there's a lot of detail in all the reports, and I'm not sure everybody reads all the detail, but all the, they, they put a lot of work into it, a lot of time and money and, and a lot of hard work put into it, and there was reputations on the line, and um, you know, we fought for the things that we thought we should fight for. We agreed to the mistakes that, that were made. We fixed the mistakes uh, in a hurry, and, and now it's over. Now we get to move on.